Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm super excited to be getting into the reading today. We're going to take a brief look at what messages you need to hear going into May 2022. So of course, if you want to see future readings from me, you guys already know, thumbs up the video, subscribe so you never miss a beat. Any information you need to get a personal reading will be listed in the description box. And we're going to flip the camera as always and get into the cards and the juiciness of what the messages are, okay? So enjoy. Oh, follow me on Instagram as well, guys, at Mystical Crystal Tarot. Literally, my uh, YouTube name is my Instagram name. And I have a whole bunch of pick a cards that are going to be uploaded on there. I actually posted like a pick a card already and astrological updates, all that jazz. So definitely follow me. And let's go ahead and get into the reading. Enjoy. Pisces, let's go ahead and get into your reading. So... I see Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. What are the harsh truths they need to hear going into May? What are the harsh truths? So I have the Ten of Swords, Ten of, not Ten, Two of Wands, Five of Wands, and the Page of Swords. Okay, so first message I'm hearing, first harsh truth, Spirit is saying that you guys need to be the source of inspiration, the source of, <clears throat> how do I put this into words? You guys need to be the source of inspiration. You guys need to be the source of happiness after some sort of defeat or disappointment here. Like only you guys can be that for yourself. And it's important to not just exist in the space of letting disappointment, betrayal, like create this, this shell around you. Um, Spirit is saying that a lot of you have allowed this to actually happen, where you, you have this defeatist mindset around love after a really bad breakup or when it comes to uh, being an entrepreneur or being successful, you could believe that maybe you're not close to your goals or achieving them so it could be keeping you from really picking yourself up and doing what you need to do when spirit's saying you guys need to get to work instead of feeling sorry for yourself and and feeling like you're just the most unlucky person in the world understand that life has ebbs and ebbs and flows or life has an ebb and flow i said ebbs and flows what um life has an ebb and flow things that go up must come down things that go down must come up this is just a known fact about life. So even at your lowest point, the only direction after that is up. So if you have a belief system that you'll always be in this position, the Ten of Swords position, then you'll never pick yourself up. You'll never see opportunity. Okay. Another truth that some of you guys may be needing to hear, it's time. A lot of you have been kind of just sitting back and looking at your opportunities pass you by and, you know, looking at all the possibilities of what can be and what, what could have been as well. But Spirit is saying, stop focusing on what could have been or what can be and focus on what you can do now to move forward beyond limitations that you guys have been experiencing. A lot of you are also trying to do this thing where you're you're trying to exist in your old life and in a new life that you're trying to build at the same time like simon simultaneously when spirit's saying you need to choose are you going to now follow a new path in terms of doing the things that you need to do for yourself or are you going to continue down the same path of feeling sorry for yourself or entertaining things that are just eh, just okay Another thing I'm seeing, okay, <laughs> this is a harsh truth. So another harsh truth that you may be needing to hear, Spirit is saying you do need to hold yourself accountable for being in the mix of a very complicated or very complicated situations around you, whether this is family related, uh, if this is romantic, Spirit's saying hold yourself accountable because while you don't like the chaos, you don't like the trouble, you guys could be right in the mix of it. 
So if you're dating somebody and you know that they come with a whole bunch of people or it comes with a whole the situation or the relationship may have a whole bunch of layers acknowledging that being involved with it is seemingly the problem and accountability is needed in this sense also when it comes to like your creativity spirit is saying that you guys do need to shift your focus from outside distractions and more so on self a lot of the confliction that you could be having creatively on like how to take a business to the next level or how to uh reinvent like what you do like creatively or even just when it comes to ideas you may be feeling a block there it's because your your mind could be busy focusing on distractions okay let's keep going What's the message my Pisces need to hear? So we have become a white magician. And it says all the magic you possess is based on your word. And you cast spells all the time with your opinions. You can either put a spell on someone with your word or you can release someone from your spell. Which is true. Words are very much spells. And the truth is... Some of you guys could have been speaking some things over yourself and not even aware of how you were doing it. We could just be joking sometimes and be like, oh, I'm so poor or, oh, I'm so ugly. Or we could say things and not even realize that we're cursing ourselves. So be careful of the things that you speak on yourself and other people. Okay. All right, let's pull from, let's pull one from here message for my Pisces let's do this one so we have greeting wellness the back of this card says balance is the key to a life of infinite miracles so spirit is saying instead of being attentive to the negative also make sure you're being attentive to the positive it's so easy to look at what we don't like about our lives or what we don't like about a person, a situation, but it's also key to have like a balanced perspective just in general and beyond just this card. With you having a balanced perspective, you'll always be able to get yourself out of a trick bag of a situation or see opportunity in quote unquote negative situations. And even in positive situations, be able to recognize things that could pose as a threat and always be prepared. So it's important to have balance in, in mindset, but then also balance in other areas in your life. You're going to eat junk food, balance it out with eating an apple, <laughs> you know, balance it out. Don't have this. This imbalance where you're leaning more on one energy than the other. Okay, even in your masculine and feminine energy, I think I said that for Virgos. You have Virgo in your chart. Watch that video. But let's pull from here. What other messages are coming through for my Pisces? Harsh truths they need to hear going into May. So we have Nature Gems. We also have Grounding or Ground Down, excuse me. So yeah, some of you do need to go back into nature. You guys need to reconnect with things that bring you back to earth. A lot of you have been just work, work, work. I need to take care of this. I need to do that. Like just so focused on like the day-to-day -day responsibilities that you have been neglecting, like going into nature or literally grounding yourself, taking your shoes off, going into nature and, and just planting your feet into the ground and, and getting to be in tune. So this will help you if you have been feeling out of it. This will help you kind of get back to self, get back in tune. Also, hmm. When it comes to like you guys feeling some type of way about certain individuals and, you know, maybe how they may have treated you or how they may have betrayed you in certain ways. Understand that once you understand human nature and you understand just 
the nature of our personal journey when we get here on this planet. <laughs> um, you won't be so, what's the word, resentful. And not saying that you don't have the right to be resentful. It's just saying you won't have the level of resentment to attach to people or to hold on to personally. Because then you'll understand that every person plays a season, a moment, a role in our lives. And whether that's, you know, until we die or a temporary phase in our lives, you you don't. You, you start to adapt this mindset of realizing that everyone's not perfect. Literally, all humans are flawed, so you can't expect perfection from other people. But let's pull a card from this deck. Okay, I guess the card fell. So we have the wild card. Okay, so the last harsh truth that you guys may be needing to hear is that you guys may be needing to expect the unexpected. Be in this energy of understanding that the unpredictable can happen at any moment and understanding that life is unpredictable in many aspects will help you not feel like life is, is or take things personal, I should say. Okay, and also when things are shaken up around you and have been shaken up around you recently, it was for the purpose of you guys to make certain changes, make certain breakthroughs so you guys can get out of this energy of feeling stuck. So this is pretty much what I see. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, definitely thumbs up the video and subscribe. And I will see you a little bit later, Pisces.